Well, it's a collection of uh, essays that I've written over the years on, uh, as it says in the title, Catholic Doctrine and Devotion. And so I've collected them according to different topics and incorporated other writers to provide intros, to bring some more voices in. And it's the, the intention is, to, I mean, really for the gospel and to, uh, to, bring, to bring out there the, the truth of our, of our Lord and of the church and, and hopefully to contribute to people's conversion of heart and coming to know Jesus Christ and his church. Was there, was there a moment in which you thought this, this book is needed now? And if so, what was it that made you feel like this was something you needed to put out there for people to, to consider? Right. Yeah. The, the gospel is always needed, right? It's always, these things are always needed to be taught and, uh, and, and renewed and put out again. And so uh, I, I don't know if things had just reached critical mass of the, of the writings I had or what, but I realized that, you know, I had these, these things uh, together and, uh, and had the opportunity to put them out there. Uh, the gospel is always needed, as I said. I think today we have, you know, uh, trouble getting the word out there sometimes, and I think also some confusion about what religion is and the importance of it. And so I think uh, for our times, that's uh, another factor in why it's important now. Well, it's interesting you mentioned the confusion about what religion is and why we need it, uh, because there, it's an interesting time. There are many, many people who will when asked, describe themselves as spiritual, but they will not describe themselves as being particularly religious. Um, I, I'm curious, does the, is there a distinction in your mind, and is this part of what gives rise to the secularism that we see in the West now? Yeah, people like to make that distinction, and uh, I think it's a dangerous one, actually, uh, because religion brings structure to, to spirituality. And, uh, and without that structure, then, you know, we're in danger of just, you know, doing whatever we want. And, and you know, our, spiritual, uh, our spirituality will be just of our own making. And that's always a dangerous thing. And so the contribution of religion is, is to bring structure to it. And people immediately, you know, point to the abuses uh, of religion. And I would yeah. say that those, they, they're precisely that, abuses. But, uh, you know, and, and in Christianity, the whole point is that uh, the Word became flesh, uh, God became man, and he, he brought some structure to uh, his relationship with us. And as uh, then Cardinal Ratzinger wrote years ago, uh, the incarnation means we can't just do whatever we want, that, that, that it's brought some structure to the, the relationship between God and man, such that, you know, we have to respond in a particular way. So really, it, it's, I think it's a bad distinction to make. And I th in fact, not just bad, but I think it's a dangerous one to make because uh, that spirituality without guidance uh, and without truth, uh, can be, it, it becomes very dangerous for the individual. It becomes just sentimentality or, or worse. 